Hello everyone. If you've got a Miele dishwasher, the ones that I've seen, I can't say for all, but they give an error F24, which means uh, the heater is not working. Or you don't get the error, but your dishwasher is staying cold. Then it could just be this relay. I've seen a few with just this relay is the problem. These relays are about 60 or 70 pounds. They're really expensive to get hold of. And there's a lot of second-hand ones going around. So I got the F24 error on this dishwasher. So I've taken the relay out. And it's literally, you take out four torque screws out of the base. You put the dishwasher on its side or back. And you take out four screws from the base plate. And the plate, base plate is removed. And look inside, you'll see this relay clipped in with a loom connected to it. I suppose we could just open this up and have a look inside and then test it and you can see what's going on. There's four little clips here, look. <clears throat> There's a, a raised ramp on the plastic housing of the actual relay. And then this case snaps over that. So we've got to ease those up in a kind way. And here we go. Just to sort of lever one side down whilst holding it down, otherwise when you try and do this side, it'll just pop back in again. But I'm doing this at arm's length, so you have to cut me some slack. A lot of slack, that's what's right, required. There we go, and she's coming out. You can see you've got six contacts on the bottom, two for the mains there that's where the power goes in to switch the relay coil and move the relay then there's a live channel and a neutral channel and when the relays close this contact on the left will be contact on contact shorted to this one and this one on the right will be on the other one providing power for the heater now quite often when the miela dishwasher powers up and you press start the drain pump starts and then this um, kicks in and the Although the dishwasher does not need, want any heat at this point, it just cycles this relay and somehow there must be a wire sensing the relay has closed and power has got to the heater so that it doesn't sort of fill up with water and sit there going cold and trying to wash for hours. And when it's finished, there's no, because it doesn't heat up, it's just full of water. So it's some kind of interlock. I'm not quite sure why they do it. Others don't. They just let your dishwasher run and then you find you, it just stays cold and some of the Bosch ones just go on running for absolutely just about forever without ever stopping until you drain them and you have to bail them out or if you know the shuffle of the buttons on the top you can cause the drain pump to cycle and drain the actual dishwasher in engineer mode I suppose you'd call it but anyway these relays are expensive but often they just get dirty and you can see ooh, dear oh dear you see that down there nasty let's have a closer look at that shall we focus you focusing thing there's the contact and you can see if i can get it so it's got light on it you see there's me actuating the relay with my finger closing the mucky contacts that's just uh a closer look there you can see them they don't look too bad actually but you only need a bit of corrosion on there to stop it and um, I've seen them that they just need to clean All right so you can see the action so of course the other thing is this coil might have gone open circuit and then when you've got no current flowing it no magnetic field wasn't the magnet won't pull this down and it won't close the contacts okay so we're just going to check the relay um, coil resistance because if your coils gone open circuit it won't work so at this point I've turned the light off so you can see the meter so the picture is a little bit a little bit uh, Make it a bit brighter for you. There you go. So the two contacts we're talking about are these two contacts on the end, okay? The actual coil. Now, uh, I'm going to put my meter onto ohms, auto-arranging ohms. <clears throat> and when I connect these two together again, the same coil, these are now connected to the probes again. And that 1.5 is just the error of these leads, okay? 1.5 ohms is nothing, all right? So let's clip it onto the relay coil. Like a show. There you go. And you can see it ranging, and we've got 1.5 ohms. It's shorted out. Try that. 
There you go. So you've got a 3.993. So 4,000 ohms is the resistance. If you don't see that resistance, then your coil's gone open circuit. You can have a look inside, see whether the wires are bonded on, see if you can solder it or not. But yeah, your coil resistance should be 4,000 ohms when measured with a multimeter. Very dirty in there, isn't it? So let's just test it. You can see they're very pitted as well. But there would have to be 240 volts or thereabouts across those contacts. So it's difficult to imagine them not making contact. But believe it or not, often they don't. And you have a problem with no hot water or no heat in your dishwasher. And probably the F24 error. But it's worth checking because the pumps are eye water and really expensive. And the pump has got the integrated heating element in it. So you have to change both. And, um, you know... It's almost scrap dishwasher time if you haven't got a service contract at that point. So anyway, so look at these contacts on the base. On this side, we have the coil. That's the energizer coil. Energizes relay. Pulls that down with magnetic force. The, the lever flicks across and closes the contacts, as you just saw. So here I've got mains. So don't do this at home, but I, I prefer to just test them because I've got the rig here. I can just put the uh, switchable mains on there to drive the coil. And then we can test both sides of this independently. And what I've got here are two crocodile clips. All right. <laughs> it's a bit, um, yeah, it's been trod on. And when you short them together, they're connected to my meter leads on continuity beep. And we get a beep. All right. So when the relay closes, we should hear a beep. All things being equal. So I'm clipping this on. As I say, don't do this at home with the mains unless you know what you're doing. Pull that up a bit so it's not shorting on the other one. Yes, it can. Put this one onto there, onto the other one on, on that side. And when I switch it on, it should go click and we should get a beep. So that side's working. Jolly good. Let's try the other side. Uh, so the other side's not making contact. Clips are on okay. No contact, okay. So we're going to have to just clean those up and see if it works. It should work, shouldn't it? Because I don't think anything's broken inside. It's just bad contact. Um, what I've got here is um, I've got some brake cleaner. It's just spirit cleaner. You can use alcohol or everything you want. Um, really up to you. And I'm going to use a diamond file because the contacts are quite hard. You can clean them up with a normal needle file or you can clean them up with just a piece of... Uh, I've got some 80 grit paper here which I could just uh, fold into a strip and then rub them up and down between the contacts. But I'm going to use a needle file to get the diamond file because I've got one. Uh, the mains is off. It's disconnected. And what you do is you just put this in there. So I can see this, demonstrate this with a bit more finesse than I am. Uh, it may be like this. I'm just going to gently put that in there. Close the contact. Not too much pressure, just enough so you can feel it biting on the... And give it a clean like that to start with. Give them a fairly good old rub, actually. And then do the same to the one down the bottom. Careful not to bend that strip with holding the contact, because then it will affect the relay. And this is the contact that was giving us a bit of jit, wasn't it? I'm actually cleaning the bottom one at the moment, and the top one's in the... In the uh, in the action as well, enjoying a good rub. All right, so that, that looks better already. Now, just um, use a bit of this paper. 
So we've got a piece of paper folded into a piece like that so that we can clean the contacts when they're closed as well. You can just do the stage, probably be all right, go all the way down and then wiggle it about. Okay, and then finally, give it a bit of a blast with brain spray clean. You don't carb run them in there, so give it a bit of a wash out. That'll dry out now. And put the mains back on the relay coil. And it was the bottom set of contacts that wasn't working, wasn't it? So check the meter's working still. There you go. Right, bottom set, are they working now? Yeah, it's working now. 